Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can set up your own single post template and also configuring the table of contents widget on your website inside the single post template. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to your templates and let's head over to our save templates and right over here, add new and then let's head over and select our single post. So I'll be naming it single post template for that demo purpose. Once you name your template, head over and create a template. I'll be heading over with a pre-made Elementor template for the single post and I'll head over with the middle one. So let's head it over and insert it. So I won't apply all those changes from this exact template. So you will see in a minute why. Don't apply. When we have our template already inserted in our template, we have our Elementor pre-made template inserted in our own template. What you want to do is head over and you want to set things a little bit up. Why? Because we have our text not so seen because it's supposed to be some sort of a white. So what you want to do is head over to your settings in the bottom left hand corner of your screen right over here under the settings and head over and head over to style under the style background type. Let's head over to our classic and let's set it up to black as it was supposed to be under the elementor template. Now we can see our text. Obviously here it's going to be our main image of this post, but I don't have an image yet, so I won't set it up yet. But you can set up your own in your own template as you want to. So let's scroll a little bit to the bottom over here. We have our main text over here. We have our H2 over here, our H1 over here. We have our main content over here. We have our date and then we have our category. We have back to all our insights. If I have some insight on my website and I have my social media and I have my previous and next button for the next and previous posts. That's great. Now we have more insights. It means we have more posts in our blog, but I won't be covering it in this video because it's just what it is. So right over here, what I want to focus on is under the main title. What I want to set up here is the table of contents. And for that matter, we'll head over to our widgets and then we have our table of contents if you're setting up a single post template. So let's drag and drop it under the H1 and right over here, you be able to see here that I have my table of contents and we will be styling up just in a minute. But I wanted just to show you that we have all of our H1, H2, H3, H4 and so forth right over here in our table of contents. So why do we have it? By default, Elementor takes all those H1, H2, H3, H4 and H5 and H six from all of the website or all over this exact page. I'm sure you've seen this problem. And for this problem, I've created this tutorial, obviously for also setting up the single post template, but I want to show you how to fix this exact problem or this exact issue. First, what I want to do here is head over and fix the not so seen titles. So let's head over to our styles. Let's head over to our header and right over here. Let's set the text color to white. And also for the list, let's head over to normal. Let's set it up to white and then also the active to white. Also, we have one more thing to solve here and it's right over here under the container. What we want to do is set up that the table of content will be getting the information or the selected H2, H3, H4 and H5 and H6 from a specific element that we want to decide for him. So if we go and edit the table of content and let's head over to our content under the container, what you want to set it up for is main. Now it won't show anything right now, but what do you want to do before you hit publish and set the template to be all over the website is head over to our container, head over and scroll a little bit to the bottom of this edit page and right over here under the additional options, head over to our HTML tag and set this one to main. Now head over and publish it and then add the condition to cover all your website and single posts for the template that you are setting up right now. All singular. Yes, I want to send it to all singular posts, then hit save and post. Great. We have it updated. Now let's see our changes in action. So let's head over to our eye icon right over here next to our update button and let's hit preview. Under the preview, now we'll be able to see our post and over here, you will see a black box right over here because it has nothing, but it's supposed to have an image or the main image of this post. But if we scroll a little bit to the bottom, we have here our H1 right over here and we have our H2 right over here. And if you'll be able to see here, we have only one title over here and it is corresponding to 
with this title renewable energy renewable energy eco-friendly eco-friendly and so forth so that is how you set up your table of contents so it will only take this h1 h2 h3 and any h whatever titles you have on your single post so it will only take from this exact single post that the user is on and not all the other title that are on the single post page i hope it makes sense because otherwise it will take all the other titles that are available on this page because it will take this one and it will take this one and this one and this one and you don't want that because otherwise it's going to send the user to the bottom of the page and it won't be reading all your article. So this is how you solve this issue. I hope it helped you. And if it does, I will be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any tutorials that I post on this channel, whether it's on Elementor, WooCommerce or WordPress. And as usual, I'll be seeing you in the next one.